Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Tech It. We need to find some rubber. I spent about two hours farming resources in the caves and we have a lot of copper, we have some iron, we have some tin, but we can't start any of our machinery until we get some rubber. So I've been out here looking in the forest, trying to find some rubber trees, and hopefully we can find some. So let's get at her. Da, 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 da. And of course the sun's going down. Thankfully, as you saw, I have armor now, so I'm not too worried. And I'm hungry. Delicious pork chops. So, hopefully we can find some rubber, at least get a sapling or two so we can start a farm back at base. Because, you know, obviously we need rubber. And I haven't seen any, any nearby. I've already gone quite a distance away. I've checked all around here. Haven't found anything. I'm on the edge of this forest right here now. I just, I'm just not having any luck, guys. I'm just, just not having any luck. of course, now the sun's going down, but I'm too lazy to run back. Oh, sheep! We already have beds. Ooh, reeds. Reeds. Because you always need reeds. Because usually when you find rubber trees, they're on the edge of a forest. Usually. But you can always tell them separate from the other trees because they'll have two blocks of leaves on the top instead of one. But at the same time, since the last time I played this mod, that might have changed. <laughs> Missed me. I should pay more attention to my minimap. Here, give me your string. I want a bow. No string? Oh, spiders hate me. Come on. We need some rubber. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> string. Nope, oh, and I hear a zombie. Where are you? There you are. Oh, baby zombie. Screw this. Getting out of here. Run! Another creeper. Maybe doing it this at night was a bad idea. Another creeper. I'm gonna head out to where I can actually see stuff. Anything following me? Nope. Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking for some uh, rubber trees. I'll I'll bring you back if I find any. Die. And we're back, and I'm running from some mods that are underneath trees. It's now daytime. I can see again, which is nice. Yeah. But we're still looking for rubber. Still haven't found any. I'm gonna try and. Go this way. Reed. Give me all your paper. All your delicious, delicious paper. Come on, run. There we go. More pigs! Delicious, delicious pig. I have to start a pig farm. They're just everywhere out here. No, that's just birch. What the Dang it. Creeper? Creeper? Where are you, creeper? You underground creeper? Is it my computer? No. Uh, rubber? 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 Rubber tree! Give me all your saplings. Is there another one? Is that the only one? 
I think that is the only one, but I don't care. And now we wait. <laughs> we need to wait for all the saplings. So I'm going to sit here and, uh, you know, it's kind of like watching paint dry, except just watching leaves die. So I'll bring you back uh, when we're back at home. And we're back quickly. I haven't gone to the house yet. That tree gave me one sapling. That's it. Just one. So I've been looking around some more and I found some more. And yes, I know. I shouldn't be chopping them down because they give the rubber, but I want the saplings because I want to plant them at the base. And my axe is broken. Punching. I'll stop punching when I get back to the house. <laughs> Yeah, time to watch some more trees die. Was that the only two? Oh no, there's another one. Oh, why is that shirt? I forget. There you go. Now hopefully we get more than one sapling off of each of these trees. Because obviously once I have a big enough amount of saplings, when we do get higher up into it and we get going into the forestry mods, we're going to be setting up an auto farm for rubber. Look at that, two saplings. Two saplings. I am now a happy camper. So I'm going to sit here, watch more leaves die, and I'll see you guys back at the house. Peace. Welcome back, and as you see, we have more than one sapling. So we're back at the house. Octavia's working on upgrading our little shack house. I don't know what we want to call it. What do you want to call it? Shack? Whatever. <laughs> We've uh, started clearing out an area to build a, a bigger one later on, but that's going to be, you know, later on. Uh, I cut down the trees that are over here because this is where I'm going to start up our rubber tree farm. So we have six of these now. If we find more, we can always add to it later. There's my lineup. There's my lineup. Right there. And I screwed that up. Whatever. So we have all those, and I built some fences. I'm probably going to have to build more to close it in just so that we can keep it a little easier and safer. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to build a lot more fences. Yeah, a lot more fences. Come over here. Bam. This is how we make sure we have enough. I doubt that'll be enough, but we're going to try it. Oh yeah, we got enough. We can always expand later. I just want to keep mobs out so that, you know, even at night time we can come and get some, uh, we can come and get some rubber. Just want to light this up. Make sure nothing bugs us. Once we get uh, a lot more resources, we'll have to make some interdiction torches. They actually cause mobs to not be able to walk into an area. So they're pretty handy to have when you're working on a base. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh, just expanding. Okay. 
But uh, we're going to get these trees to grow. And uh, we're going to get some rubber going. Look, oh, there's one there. So I got I better get a spigot made. Put that away, that away, that away, that away, those away. Bring that down here. And of course, it's almost nighttime. Spigot. Or tree tap, whatever. Same thing. For rubber on a tree, all you gotta do is see the mark on it. Right click, rubber comes down. Nice and easy. And yes, the rubber will respawn on the trees. But uh, so of course, it's nighttime again. So we've got a while to wait for all these to grow, build up a bit of a rubber stockpile so we can start making cabling, so we can start advancing what we have for technology because. I don't know about you guys, but I like electricity a lot better than this. So we will see you in a little bit, and I hope you come back. And we're back, and we've got some more trees growing. So we can finally get some more rubber. Ooh, I can't reach that one up there. I might just climb up and cut the top block of the tree off, because there's no sense in rubber spawning where I can't loot it. Me on this tree. No, I'm too lazy. Okay. So I've already got our generator going, our bat box going, and I need to get uh, an electrical furnace on the way now. What's in here? I got some more rubber going. So electric, 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 electric furnace. Which means I need to make bam, bam, bam. And so first off, I need an iron furnace, which is a regular furnace with five iron plates. I've got my five iron. Well, I've got more than that, obviously. One, two, three, four, five. I believe I'll need... Yeah, I'll make two more. I think I need them for the other thing that I got. Uh, where are we? Electric furnace. Go into the circuit. Yeah, I needed one here, and I need six copper insulated cables and oh yeah that's why I was waiting on the rubber there we go why do I have two stacks of it Bam. so to make the conduit it's that easy We'll make another furnace. Move mouse. That. Grab my plates. Grab the iron furnace. Grab that there. Redstone. Redstone. Circuit. Bam. We have an electric furnace. So we now have our generator our battery box and our furnace. So we're going to start out with a generator. I'm just going to build it out here because we're going to build around it. Da, da, da. So we're going to get the furnace go um, generator going. Get our bad box going. Obviously, I'll move this stuff around and wire it up differently later on. And we got our furnace. So, just to connect them, we go wire, wire. Run over here. Get a stack of coal. We throw the coal into the generator, and it's going to start charging. It's not going to have any power in the generator, because it's got to fill the bat box first, and it's already got the furnace rocking. 
We got our copper. Bam. We now have a machine that, you know, we, ha we have electricity. We have electricity. It's a great start. It's a great start. There's my time. There we go. All right. Uh, Octavia put together a little bit of a bigger house. She set up two sides, one for each of us. Make it a little nicer, a little bit more organized. We need a door, though. I'll let her handle that. I'm too lazy to build. I spent enough time underground and mining. But now that we have the bat box up and running, and we have the generator up and running, and the electric furnace, what we're going to need is a macerator, and a compressor, and that'll be, I think that's it for the basic machines. Essentially, if I took the copper ore here, and I put it into a macerator first, every one copper ore will make two copper powder. And then I can put that copper powder in, and essentially I'll double my production on everything I mine. These slots on the side here, these are for upgrades. Uh, let's see if I can actually see you, show them to you quickly. Yeah, see, we've got a transformer, uh, da -da, overclocker upgrade. Pretty much it'll speed up. The more you put in, the faster it'll work. You can put in more than one. They, they stack. Uh, same with the transformer upgrade, obviously. You want to you have it, because if you have high voltage going to low voltage equipment, it will explode. I've blown up many of things. Uh, these are nice, the energy storage upgrades, because then this little bar here will have more, so it won't strain as much on the generator while you're running it. Uh, I don't know these upgrades that are here. I literally only know these ones. These three. <laughs> the upgrade kit? Oh, cool. A lot of changes since I played this, uh, but there hasn't been any updates for a while. It, um, Tech It is an older mod pack. Um, it is still a lot of fun. Uh, some of the stuff that you see in here is in the Feed the Beast mod packs, okay. but at the same time, a lot of it has been taken out. Like, um, the industrial craft quarry is okay. not in Feed the Beast, okay. um, and some of the recipes change, and, you know, the dark matter and red matter equipment and tools are not in Feed the Beast, they took them out completely, and those are what I'm here for. Those, those are the things that I want to try out and show off in this series. But, uh, you know, we have a bit of a technological advancement done, we're going to have to build a workshop around this now, I'm probably going to have to work on it more. I need to get some more equipment going, and uh, then we're going to be able to start getting into the uh, more advanced stuff. So I hope you guys stick around. If you like the video, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, give us a subscribe, and uh, we will see you in the next episode. Uh, have a good one, freaks.